well remember your first arrival at Darlington Hall. You came somewhat unexpectedly, one might even say impulsively, while we were dead in the middle of the Chargrove meet. That day is marked in my memory in another way as well. It was the last time his lordship seemed happy to welcome his neighbors, as in the old days. Of course, it had been years since any of them had coaxed him to hunt. It was never a sport his lordship enjoyed or approved of. I may have been a little unwelcoming at first, even a little short. You presented the most excellent references that I have ever seen, which proved to be well-deserved indeed, although I confess I did have my doubts on account of your youth. Well, no gentleman call us loud, of course. You will forgive my mentioning it, but we have had problems of that sort before from inside the house, too. The previous housekeeper took it into her head to run off with the under-butler. Ah, if two members of staff happen to fall in love and decide to get married, there is nothing one can say. But what I do find a major irritation are those persons who are simply going from post to post looking for romance. Our housekeepers are particularly guilty here. No offence intended, of course. None taken. I know from my own experience how a house is at sixes and sevens once the staff start marrying each other. Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. 